As a songwriter, you wake up in the morning and you've got no real idea whether today is going to be one of those days when you're able to create. This is a day in the life of a songwriter. This is going from inspiration to song. I'm going to walk you through my inspiration process and how that plays out in everyday life. And I think this is going to help you if you're a songwriter. Maybe you can learn some new habits here to implement into your life, into your songwriting, so you can write more songs more effectively. The first thing I want to talk about is capturing that inspiration. So that is going to come from anywhere. It might come the second you wake up. For me, it's often going to come in the shower. I don't know what it is about the shower. Just find it super inspiring. I always get a melody in the shower, but if not, maybe that inspiration is going to come from listening to some music as I have breakfast with the kids, kind of get some, oh, I feel like writing a song like that. And then you might get a little melody. Maybe it's driving in to work in the car or something. You're going to grab bits of inspiration. So the best thing that you can do is always capture those, no matter whether that's a, a 10 second little melody line, whether that's a full chorus, whether that's just a lyric, whether it's a beat. Lately, I've been kind of getting bass lines. Just record that into your phone. So I literally get the phone memo. Usually when I get out of the shower, I'm getting my phone out and I'm just singing that memo in, you know, I'm just singing exactly what the idea is, no matter how formulated it is and I'm just kind of locking away that inspiration. If I can't grab my phone straight away, like I'm driving or I'm in the shower or something, I'm just singing it over and over. I'm just cementing that in my head. I'm not trying to write the rest of the song. I'm not trying to go to a place where, oh, here's a cool idea, let's expand that. No, I just wanna, I wanna remember this idea because I know I can expand on this later. So if that means singing it over and over and over 20 times, 30 times, 40 times, just so that it's still in your head when you've got a chance to sit down and actually capture it in your phone, then do that. Don't try and write the rest of the song. Just focus on that bit, that inspiration that you've got, because the rest will come later. The second important thing with songwriting is to find some time to actually expand that. You don't always have a time to do it. You need to find a time that works for you to do it. That's what's going to make you a songwriter. If you just leave it to, oh, at some point I will do that, it's never going to happen. Or if you, like I often do, try and be creative while the world exists around you and while you need to be functional is really, really unhealthy for you as a creative, but also everyone around you. So often we got this piano at home. Often I'm playing that piano. My kids are asking me questions. I'm getting really frustrated at them because can't they see that I'm trying to be creative? But I'm in the family home. I'm trying to, I need to be a dad. I need to be a husband. I've got stuff to do. That's not necessarily the time for me to create. So if I try, I might get halfway through an idea and then I get interrupted and that idea is gone. So for me, in my, my days as a songwriter, it's about waiting till I've got an opportunity to write. So once you've got that voice memo in your phone, that inspiration is locked away there. It's not going anywhere. So when you've got time, appropriate time to write, that's when you do it. So for me, that's about driving down to the studio and doing it. Sometimes once the kids go, if I've got a moment at home, I can bash it out on the piano and just set up my phone and record it there. But usually once all these distractions are gone, I can, I can go to the studio and I can write. So on the way there in the car, I'm mulling over the inspirations, like I said, but I've got that creative space in the studio where I know I'm not going to be distracted. I can put my phone down and I've got a place where I can write. So for you, maybe that's not a recording studio, but maybe you've got some time uh, where you can put yourself in your bedroom and kind of do that. And the people in your house, the people that know and love you, you might be able to communicate expectations with them and say, right now, for the next half an hour, I just need to write this song or... Um, I can deal with this and this and this once I'm finished, but for right now, I just need this time to write. So if you can find a space to write, um, make sure it works functionally with the people that you're around and just set aside that time. That that really helps. The other amazing thing about my space in the studio here is that it's it's basically set up, ready to go. It's plug and play. So this is really hard to do if you're at home. Maybe if you've got to get your guitar out, you've got to get your interface out and you've got to open up your laptop, do all those things, plug it in. A lot of that can kind of zap away inspiration. For me, when I get to the studio, I can turn the computer on, just plug in the guitar, the piano is always hooked up, the drum machine is always hooked up, I can do some stuff, I've got a microphone ready. So that's really, really important to have that as distraction-free as possible. Not only your space being distraction-free so you don't have, you're not going to your phone to check Instagram all the time, um, you're not having other things pop up on your computer that kind of, oh, actually, no, I didn't need to check that email real quick, stuff like that. But also just distractions in having to get ready to record is really, really uninspiring. So if you can have as a plug and play set up as much as you can, that's going to help you. And that's, that's my day as a songwriter is when I go to sit down to songwrite, 
that's exactly what I'm doing. I'm ready to go. I'm ready to songwrite in my creative space. The third thing which I think is super, super important is to make yourself a songwriting system. So for me, I've got a songwriting template. Songwriting 2023 is what I'll open up every time I go to write a song. And in this template, you can see I've got everything laid out that I need to write a song. I've got my structure set up at the top. So I've got a template of what sort of structure I want to write in that I can move around, but it's there to start with to give me something. I've got instruments set up. I've got a piano. I've got some guitar amp set up. I've got a drum sound that I like set up. So I can just straight away play without having to, again, distract myself by creating uh, tracks, getting this ready. Oh, what what should I add here? What should I add there? It's all ready for me to kind of just write. And that's different from producing as in I don't want the same drum sound for every song, don't want the same piano sound, guitar sound for every song. But to write with, I just need something that's ready to go and that's inspiring. So a songwriting template once you get into your space, you get into your template, you're in it, you straight away into a space where you can write. And that's super, super helpful. I find that once I've got that, I'm, I'm in a place where I'm inspired to expand on my former inspiration. And that's what songwriting is all about. You get this inspiration in the shower, in the car, wherever it is. To make a song out of that, it has to be expanded. It has to be worked on, has to be fleshed out. It needs to kind of grow and develop you know if that's the verse you need to put a chorus on it if that's the chorus you need to put a verse on it you might need to find the right chord progression or rhythm so once you've got a setup that's inspiring you can be inspired to expand it and that that for me is what is kind of got me over the line from just having a bunch of song ideas to actually having a bunch of finished songs is that my system inspires me to finish it. It's easy. Uh, I like the sound of it. And the system that I've kind of set up means that I can write songs. So what I'll do is I'll come in the studio here with that idea, uh, kind of sing it in from my phone, sing it into the computer and start to bring out all the different elements. I want to help you get better at songwriting. I want to help you with this system, with this space, with this sort of concept of capturing inspiration, creating a time and allowing that inspiration and time to kind of come together to actually write a song. I want to help you with that. I've got a free workshop that runs you through everything that I do. So I've kind of touched on my system here. This workshop shows you more in depth that system, how I go about writing songs, how I go about coming up with melodies, chords, rhythms, all those things in just a three part completely free crash course workshop around songwriting. So you can grab that for free from the link below. And just, I'd just love to teach you this system. I'm really excited about being a songwriter. I love that I've found a way to do it and to kind of incorporate it into my everyday life. So I can still do the things I've got to do. I can still be um, a father, a husband. I can still do jobs here in the studio for other people. But I can be a songwriter because I've got this system that allows me to grab inspiration and then turn that into a song. So I want to teach you that with my free songwriting workshop. So jump on that. I'd love to see you in there so I can help you become a songwriter. If you're anything like me, even when you lay down to go to bed and your brain is supposed to be shut off, you're still coming up with melodies. You're still feeling inspirations. You're constantly taking your phone off charge to kind of quietly put a voice memo in while everyone else is sleeping. Because being inspired, being creative never really stops. If you want to watch me write a song in an hour and go through the entire process of lyrics, melody, chords, rhythm, the whole thing in 60 minutes and to get it like it was actually a reasonable song, you can watch this video here where I do that. Um, It's a bit of fun.